G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle, and welcome back to The Walking Dead in 7 Days to Die, where it is day 21. The Blood Moon Horde is coming for me tonight, and I am terrified because the Day 14 Horde went horrendously badly for me, and now we've just got to up the ante without any sort of base to prepare ourselves for it. I'm desperately trying to slap together something that might work. All the ideas that I've had just haven't panned out. So tonight, it's just going to be me, my rifle, my spear, and my terrible lack of ability against a sea of zombified enemies. Not good. Not a good equation at all. This may be the last sunrise I ever see in this world. I mean, at least it's a kind of a decent one, so I graciously accept, but I wouldn't mind getting an extra one under my belt. Oh man, this is going to go so badly. Well, I suppose if I'm going to go down with the ship, I'm going to have to try and make that ship as nice looking as possible, as aesthetically pleasing. If my skeleton's going to be there with a sweet ass sailor hat hanging onto a big speedy wheel thing, I need this ship around me to at least look like a decent coffin. So I'm going to try and make this base as good as I can. Need to do some more, actually, before I forget to, I need to put some anti zombie climbing things on the front over here, like. Like that, I've run. Oh, I've, hang on, give me those ones back again, real fast. This one's a little bit more important. Yeah, I need to chuck on some anti zombie climbers. Copy shape, copy rotation, chuck you there and there. I need some more wood. I'm so short on wood, it's not even funny. Get that sorted though, get some barricades in the way. I mean, look, it's not a clever base, but it's a simple base, and hopefully, simple will get me through. I'm not sure if I should be trying to dig like that big explosive pit I was talking about yesterday. I'm not sure if I should try and push for that today, but I don't really have any other real great options. What do I need to make a pipe bomb? Pipe bomb needs plant fibers, gunpowder, and short iron pipe. So I have not quite enough to make 50 of them. What have I got in here? Do I even have any left over anywhere? I thought I had some somewhere. Shit. <laughs> I thought I had a supply of bombs. Turns out I definitely do not. All right, let's get you nice and quickly. Crank it out a whole bunch of that. 21 will do. I'm going to need a whole lot more, though. Open you, open you, open you. I need a bunch more plant fibers. Yes, I know I've got more important things to do right now, but I have to head out anyway. Let's go find some wood. Actually, no. Nope. Screw it. Let's go to the pine. That's the water. Let's go to the pine forest where there's trees and grass are plenty. I'm just, I'm just not ready to say goodbye to this world yet. I was only just starting to get comfortable, starting to find my feet. Just found my favorite snuggiest blanket that I can curl up in and try not to cry at night. And you're going to tear that away from me so quickly? I refuse. I refuse to die tonight. Although my refusal means very little when the zombies are so persistent. That's probably more than enough grass stuff. After all, I'm only making, what, 50 odd pipe bombs, so that should be fine. Quickly grab you for some extra eggs. Look, if I'm going to survive, I'm going to have to have a hearty meal the next morning to forget the nightmares that came for me during the dark stuff. Break you down. Cheers, cover. Break you down too. Gonna have a whole lot of seedlings. Gathering bush is so frustrating. I hate doing it. I never think to do it. Then when I need it, it takes half a bloody day. I've got the attention of a couple of mups. Hold on. I just I need to break down this tree right fast. There we go. Priorities. Listen, ask Arlene. Always got to finish off the wood before you can start moving on to the next Jeffrey in line. We're good. We're fine. God, there's so many zombies out here. How am I looking for wood now? 925. I'm going to need some more. I'll break down a couple of those on my way through, though. I'm very conscious of how late in the day it's getting. I can't just, like, focus on getting resources today. At some point, I'm going to finish off the base and then fight the horde. <laughs> I, am, I do not have long left to live. I think I might call it after this tree. Last couple of swings. Throw away all the seeds I've got. We've already been planting trees already. I've done my due diligence to try and build this world back better. I can't, I can't bother with that right now. I can't line my pockets with saplings when the fact I might be dead this afternoon is looming over my noggin very bloody heavily. 
7 a.m. 7 a.m. I've got a lot of fair wood now. I need to finish off building like that little kind of like protective bunker, the cave bit at the end of the long corridor. Chucks with spikes on top for anti vultures. I assume spikes still work. The spider being headshot only. So bloody better. Or I was going to have about 18,000 squawkers in the morning all parading around like a pelican with a fish in its gob. Get home, finish that off, upgrade what I can. No idea what I'm going to do to actually fight the zombies though. All I've got in my arsenal is my rifle and the spear. And when they're moving that quick and there's that many of them, that's not really worth dick. Before I forget everything else, quickly craft all those pipe bombs that I need. That's going to be, yeah, 51 pipe bombs. That's a fair old stack of them. I really hope this works out. I really do. But while that's going away, I'll quickly jump over here. Uh, I need the regular framey boys. Put you back onto there, there, and them. Nice. I mean, that looks... Oh. Okay. I want to see where you guys go. So you've come in the side wall over there. I have actually opened up my doors, that side and that side. So that's just a drop on either end. So hopefully you'll go up, hang a Rui, and then come down the guts right down here. Haven't figured out what I'm going to build right in like the, the barrier here to actually fight the zombies. I have a... Ooh, I have a Sammy the Sledge as well, don't I? Sammy, you in here somewhere? tools no weaponry there you are and i do have the ak but the ak is going to use 762 that would probably be better off getting fired out of my rifle although it's probably faster to switch to the ak than reload the the lever action so i'll keep that in mind for later same with the sledge you can come with me do have any mods for you i do not never mind are you still coming up though or have i distracted you with all my tomfoolery with the storage yeah, I'm out of the strategy. Yeah, sorry, that's my bad. Oh, no, here we go. Oh, there's lots coming in, actually. I also saw oh, they're trundling up the stairs over there. I kind of hope that isn't a horde, but you can kind of see what I'm going for here. I'll try not to crouch, but if I had the AP ammo, that would have been like a triple kill right there. Headshots all the way along. This is why I didn't want to go with a crawling base. Just go with a bog sock standard walker base. And I think all things considered, that's going pretty bloody lovely like. All right, nice, nice, nice. I'll continue building up this then. So like the mechanics of the base work. I'm just not sure if the muffin of the base works. Old mate's walking down the catwalk. I doubt he can turn left at the end of it though. We're going to sit here and watch him. See if you can impress Mugatu. Oh, you know, he just got pissed off and sent packing. That's fine. Doesn't do any damage. So like Sammy the Sledge is really just there to be a hindrance i guess it will kind of help if i do have that grenade pit sorted out down there but just at the moment doesn't really do anything i'm not really sure what i was expecting from you you're just a big old knob at the end of a big old pole kind of jealous actually i shouldn't start slinging shit unless i can reciprocate okay i need this i need this uh the spikes on the roof the day ones turn red so there's definitely a horde coming it's all coming down to this there's a few walking down go like that go oh get out of the way Copping rounds even when you're dead. Rude. But I would like to point out that the pistol, even though I haven't specced into it, is still doing one-hit kills on everyone out there. It's as a zombie apocalypse should be. You shoot a zombie in the head, the zombie's supposed to die. That's simple maths. Uh, let's grab you and upgrade that one. I don't know. This is dangerous stuff. I still feel like I'm good at my weaponry. That's what I'm going to take it for granted. And that's when I bloody die. I really like, though, not having to worry about the zombies, like, sneaking up on me anymore. There's no way for them to get up through that end of the base. They have to come through this avenue. So as long as I'm paying somewhat attention to it and occasionally looking over to see what's happening, I should be fine. No sneak attacks, just zombie attacks. And with Sam with the sledge out there keeping watch over me, what could go wrong? Look at them. They're everywhere they spawn, they have to come from there. And I love it. Although I don't love that. Where the dick are you going? You. There you go. You were, you were just wandering about. All right, that's fine. All of the underside of my little bunker there has been built up. All the, the angles look nice, by the way. The uh, appropriate and judicious use of the ramp blocks. Just add some lines to it that I'm a big fan of. Yes, I'm patting myself on the back and saying I'm a big fan of my own work. But hey, no one else is going to say it. So I'm going to take up the mantle. I need to grab you. Grab all the extra concrete out of that one. I'm running a little bit low on cobble, but I will do my utmost to make it worthwhile. Right. 
Up onto the roof we go. Over to there, up to here. Got to upgrade the last of the roofy blocks. And in fact, I reckon, I reckon I'm going to double thick the roof up here. Mostly because at the front on the, like, the zombie facing side over here, it's just one block tall. So they might try and stack a little bit and get pushed out a little bit, but... I can I can see some like unfortunate events leading to zombies getting up and over onto the roof So having an extra block of thickness up the top not a bad shout never heard anyone complain about a little extra thickness Well in third person anyway. Oh, good day everyone. Oh Good day everyone else as well <laughs> All right, I think I have a little pre horde horde to deal with like a pre party 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 grab you all right, let's um can you go back the other way, please, Dads? This is a very important test here, actually. Are my doors up? They should be up. Definitely something to make sure of, though. They definitely are. Okay, so... Yeah, see, Nance turned around. I was just too impatient. There you go. Nice. I don't know what to do about this, though. I guess... I mean, I suppose at the moment they're still kind of slow, so... Not too much of a... Fuck, that's a bit of a problem, though. Hold on. Let me get back inside. Ignore my floundering about. I promise I'll be better when the horde shows up properly. I was going to try and quickly build some sort of barricade here, but I don't think that's the right option given that they're right on my doorstep. And any distraction is a deadly distraction when you're a muppet like me. Short work again. Oh, easy. I really wish I could pick up that bloody garage door there, but yeah, nah, not going to happen. Or is that because it's hurt? Maybe because the garage door is slightly hurt, I can't pick it up, but... I didn't even see the option for it to deny me. Normally, I use the option that goes, uh uh, not gonna happen. This is good though. I mean, I could just find them like this. It's like that scene in Lord of the Rings when they're on like the narrow causeway. But instead of a bunch of men fighting orcs, it's just one Muppet and a whole bunch of the undead. I quite like the look of it though. I've like built like a dragon's face onto the front of my base, which I'm okay with. It's got a tick over. Shit, it's about to tick over midday and uh, the weather's turned a little bit. Is there going to be a derpo actually come to think of it? I think stage 21. I, oh, sure, okay. I think there might actually be a drop coming in. I'll chuck you onto them. Mm, do I double thick all the way back? Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure now. How many spikes do I have? I've got 12, which is enough for three. And I actually need to put it on the very front here because that's just the zombie facing side. So that's okay. I'll take all you back. I'll get some uh, ramps instead. Chuck you like that. So it kind of makes sense in the aesthetic of the rest of the base. I'm committing to it though and upgrading the lot. Fill the rest of this behind me with spikes to deal with the vultures. And I think we'll be okay. We'll think we'll be all right. Well, for at least a little bit until I get overwhelmed and torn apart. It may not look like much, but it's the best chance I have. <laughs> Straddle the street light real quick. There's the cicadas. No propellers. So I guess there's... No, nope, no. Nope, there's no derpos coming in. The weather's not really great for flying, so I kind of understand. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. I want to go down real fast. Jump down my little ladder here and build like a little platform at the bottom. So I do have to get out of here nice and quickly. I have something to stand on at the very least. Just like... Well, that'll do, I suppose. There we are. I can still get up and out. So, in an emergency, if things go wrong, I can run back here. I can pick a direction to run out onto the walls, I suppose, if I get really bad. Or, run up onto the roof. <laughs> Not great contingency plans. I'll give you that. What am I going to put at the front, though? This is where... Remember I was talking a while ago about how I hate the glancing blows hitting blocks instead of zombies? This is where that really comes into the fore, because... What the shit am I going to have to do to stab a zombie in the face if I don't have an easy option in front of me? Mm, maybe like a half block like that? Ooh, like maybe like this? Hang on a second. Let's give it a whirl. Have a little squeeze. Chucky on the front. I have to be very, very aware of their crawling mechanic. Is there something better? Is there something better? Maybe like a three-quarter size plate? Although I don't think there's one of those. I really like the look of these, like, these corner plate blocks, but I'm pretty sure that's going to be a block that they can squeeze through, so never mind. If it's one full block there, they will come through it, whether I'm ready or not. I really... Ooh, half double? No, it's too good to be true. I've tried a lot of things in various capacities and never really found anything that's really getting me excited. Ooh, what about you, though? 
Hold all of your horses, slap the leather back in the stable and let me sort this out real fast. Which one are you? You're that one. So that's plate left O2. I need plate right O2. Chuck you there and then chuck you up on the top as well. The problem is it's a... Oh, I can probably get through the middle there too. And it's a little low. If I'm going for hedgehogs, not hedgehogs, headshots. No, nah, I don't think it's going to do it. Although I do like it for the bottom still. Maybe I'll leave it on the bottom and find something better for the top. Maybe these ones, plate left, like the, like it's all like kind of like that narrow uh, increase, that narrow angle that we've used before. So let's try that then. We'll go here on face, swing around like, mm, ooh, like that. We'll try it like this for the moment. Really give me the biggest window that I can deal with. Grab that one as well uh, on face and slap you there. I can squeeze through that, but zombies don't like to jump when they're crawling. Okay, let's find someone around here somewhere to give us a little whirl. See if it's going to work. Because they can crawl through there. Big problems. But if not, I can get through there, which is great. I can stab through there, which is equally great. I like it. I like it. This might have potential. I can hear a zombie out there somewhere, so just fire around in the air and make sure they're coming my way. Squeeze on through. Ooh, it's a feral Nance. That's fine. I might even actually... Ooh, you know what would be a bad idea? I could build this because it's... Oi, dickhead. Get over here. There you go. Because it's so slender, I could build it the next block out. What are you going to do? Nothing. No crawling. No nothing. I... Really like this. Okay, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do that though. I'm gonna build it on the block on the outside so I can chuck in. If I go and get some iron, some classic iron hatches on the inside. So I have an extra layer of protection when, not if, things go really badly. So hatches, I would like four of those, please. Is not gonna be a classic hatch hallway? Uh, I, I mean, I built one of those first time back in all lane uh, Alpha 17, I think it was. Not gonna be one of those, but something equally as cool, I think. Always like trying to experiment with new things, whatever I'm getting up to. It was O2, wasn't it, on the bottom? So yeah, if I go like that, and then I get the right O2 down there, chuck you there, and then get the real, come on, the real thinner parts. Where are you? Where are you? That one, chuck you up onto the top. Easy, like that. That was the right way, wasn't it? Yeah, like there, and then the same on the other side. Then I can have the protection on the outside, and when things go wrong, flip up a hatch, and just have a secondary defense mechanism that's still going to enable me to kill all the zombies outside. Just to make sure they're nice and attached, I'm going to chuck on a couple of uh, my trusty narrow wedge tips. You and you and you and you. Because otherwise, they're all dependent on just a couple of blocks, not really stuck to it. But with that, they're nice and secured. Although, on second thoughts, the top bit there was stuck to the ramps on the top. And that was stuck to the ramps on the bottom. So, it all would have worked out in the end. Let's go like that. Get you all nice and upgraded. I love that I can still sneak on through there, though. Because if I have to get out and get some loot or do repairs or whatever I need to do, I have an access route, but the zombies don't. I like this. I like this. I might use this again. This is a discovery that I think is going to work well for about four seconds. I really like that, you know? I really do. Perfect for hand stabbing. All about it. Plus, if I want to chuck Sam with this sledge down as well, the perfect window for Sam to do his business. What could possibly go wrong other than everything? Now I've got that though. Let's grab my iron hatches. I need to be flipping away from me. God, what I, what I wouldn't give. I'd give not just my left nut, but both my nuts and one of my kneecaps. Just to have like a little animation that just waggles back and forth to show you how a dynamic block like that actually works. The little block is in the top left. So that would open up towards me. So I need to spin you around, baby, right round like that. Like that. That'll be perfect to do the same up on the ceiling. Just gonna make sure it's all in the right position. Just there. Shit! There we go. That's the ticket. Drop you down. So when I don't want the zombies to get through, I'm not fighting anything. I can have that all nice and closed off and really just negate any problems at all. Or if one of, if it's all open like this, if one of the blocks break, pop that up. Secondary defense. I mean, I'm celebrating before I actually put it to the test that it might come back to bite me before too long. But for now, I'm reasonably confident about it. I'll use the rest of my iron just to upgrade you as best I can. 
I think I'll be able to get most of it done. I might actually try and divvy it up a little bit extra. I'm covering all of my bases. Damn it! If only I hadn't fucked up that last that uh, bloody placement of the block up the top, I'd have had everything I needed. Shit. Tits on a freaking ball. Give me you, Chucky in the box over here. It's half past three, the horde's on its way, and I'm faffing about with this shit. Actually, what I should have been doing, I know I've been saving this for AP stuff, but time is of the essence, so 20 minutes make a whole bunch more 762. That's just smart cricket, and in fact, you've got a whole bunch... Ooh, hang on. Thank you very much. I needed that to go and upgrade the block out here. In fact, I'll keep you on me for repairs as the day goes on. Uh, there's also a bunch of tips and casings in here. No, ooh, that was all of my gunpowder, actually. So I guess that ship has sailed. Chuck you all the way. In you all go. Hmm, is there anything really important that I'm forgetting? Probably lots, but nothing springs to mind right now. I've got a reasonable amount of materials left. I'm worried about, like, cops. If cops show up, in fairness, they're only going to show up at the end of that runway there. And they're not going to be clipping through any zombies. So I think... For the most part, most of their goals will hit all of the zombies square in the back of the head. It'll douse their mullets with all of the goon juice. And I'll be fine over here sitting pretty munch on my 3 a.m. kebab. At least I hope so. Oh, where to put it though? I kind of want to build like a bit of protection out this side. But I think now all of the main elements are there. It's just kind of like some extra shit I need. Oh, that's really nice actually. Those hatches pop me up enough that I can just walk on through with nearing a problem in the world, do I put in a bar? Oh, fuck. Like, do I put in spikes? Do I put in barbed wire? Or should I just deal with it? Should I just deal with them running straight at me and just rely on myself to actually hit a couple of pills? I'm not sure. Ooh. Some testers out there, though. Oi! Ooh. Uh, that's a fair few testers. That's fine. Come on. Walk over this way. I've got a brand new base I want you guys to test. There's a couple of you. In fact, I think I've missed most of the horde. Old mate's determined to go and see Trader Potato. He's running errands. Gonna go pick up some kebabs for me. All right, that's fine. I'll see you in a tick. Come one, come all. Come to my death splinter. I think the most important thing, first and foremost, is that me behind my little blockades over here, they're still piling towards me. It hasn't ruined all of their path making, because the only way to get to me is this way, so that's fine. So you're going to walk up. I'm propped up behind here. You're going to stop, have a bit of a tickle, cop that in the chin. Not die quite as quickly, but that's okay. And important... Where the fuck are you two going? Get your bloody limey armpits back over here so I can penetrate your faces. Um, I think another thing to take note of here as well is that I don't have the problem that I had in the tower where the stairs were hiding their heads. There's no way for their heads to hide now. There you go. You're coming back. Just got a bit distracted. I can relate. At least now it's nice and flat and way less worries. Oh, nope. Stab you. Stab you. This seems to work out okay. Soldier boy. We might be all right here, you know? We might be all right. And when I really need to as well, quickly look at the rifle. Still can't penetrate noggins because <laughs> I'm a shit shot as well. But also because apparently penetrator perk only applies to AP ammo. Oh, it's, it's, it's gone from being a suicide mission to a little bit touch and go. This could go either way, I think. It's a shame too. If I do die tonight, I'm going to be real upset because I really like the look of this base. It hasn't really... When I didn't have a plan in mind. I just kind of slapped it all together. But the aesthetics of it, just those couple of ramp blockies here and there have done wonders. Because it actually looks... It actually looks really cool. I really, really like how it's turned out in the end. Oh, I would like to live with you for a little bit longer, please. Please don't die right quick. I'm going to make 20... Uh, I take it back. I'm going to make 24. That's the, the numbers. 24 barbed wires and just line them down here as best I can. It did seem to slow the zombies down. The problem with that, though, the zombie in front gets the barbed wire and slows down. So the zombie behind jumps up on top of their heads. Which means that getting extra headshots is a bit more difficult. Then they kind of like cascade over each other. And because their hands and knees and arms and legs all catch and stop rounds, that will be a bit of a problem for me. But I think it's worth a try. It's worth a bit of a squeeze and see if it's going to work. So let's chuck you like that. I don't know if there's a layout to this that actually makes a difference, but 
Yep, sure, I'm just gonna lay you down like that. This is like some proper old school zombie like tower defense shit. Slow the zombies down as best we can. There's nothing clever here. There's no cheese, there's no tricks of the trade. It's just a line, some barbed wire, some traps, and some guns. It's about as like bulk stock vanilla as it gets. I just realized I'm a butterfly's crumpet away from getting the next level up. So I'll grab you and go. Got the wood on me already. I suppose just like upgrade these. How much more uh, XP do I actually need? 108. No, that was my loot stage. I need 750. So barely any. I could just upgrade it to concrete. But I'm trying to save the materials for where I need it for. Is that enough? There you go. Bonds are mate. level up. Let's go the next level into demo expert. I didn't, I didn't dig the shoot. I didn't dig the shoot down there. And if I did, oh, do I have the time? This is the thing though. If I did, the walls would be very weak. They wouldn't be strong enough to handle it. If the zombies get stuck down there, they'll tunnel out and I feel like undermine my base. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think that's the right option. I don't think that's the rest call, Josh. Do I have time? I've got like three and a half hours. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. If I'm going to do it, Josh, you got to do it now. I've got the auger. Uh, do I have any gas for it? It's out in the mini bike. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm on the fence about it. Fuck it. I'm going for it. Fuck it. I'm going for it. I'm ignoring all of my better decision making. All the voices in my head are like, Josh, I'm fucking doing it. It's a terrible idea. I've got the auger. Make use of the auger. It doesn't have to be super deep right now. Just enough to kind of like hold the zombies for at least a little bit. Maybe like three deep, I suppose. And then I can come back around, throw some grenades down then, mainly kill a couple of them at a time, but at least I'll make use of the pipe bombs I was specced into. Just keep going. Keep going. Nose to the auger grindstone. Fast game's good game. Fast dig's a good dig. This is a bad idea. I shouldn't have done this. This is a bad idea. It's now seven o'clock. I've got to widen the other bit so I can build the walls to be nice and strong. Yep, that's fine. Anything that breaks is all good by me. This is the last of my fuel as well. So it's either this or nothing. Come on, faster, faster, faster. Oh, God. Why did I do this? I really wish I got the nail gun because this is taking doubly as long as I'd like it to. I've got some plates on the ground to try and protect the ground a little bit. I need to put in some, like, proper walls on the sides, though. Like that, all the way up to them. I'm running out of frame blocks as well. This is a terrible decision, Josh. Terrible decision. Plus, I still have to go and get all of, like, my health stuff and my ammo stuff and all the things I need to actually fight the horde. And I'm fucking about in the ditch. The other thing I haven't even considered at all is how the shit I get a grenade down to here uh, after I've got this thing built. I haven't built, like, a slot or a grenade shoot up the top for myself at all. So, I guess I just throw it out the window and hope for the best. Because that's always worked well for me in the past. It's now 8 o'clock. We are losing daylight. Need to get rid of you and replace you with that one. I'm down to my last couple of frames as well. And my wood supplies are getting low. Oh, God. I guess tonight I'm going inside regardless of how this looks. I've uh, reinforced the pillars. Hopefully it works out. Oh, shit. I don't think I have time to do the floor. Oh, do I push for it though? I managed to get like a three high wall all around this little bucket here. Yes, the zombies have no way out, but... I mean, I suppose they dig out of here. They just dig their way into the next bit. Maybe I'll just go to wood on you then. I've got very little wood remaining because I had to make myself some extra frames. That's nine o'clock. And once again, I'm ignoring past Josh's instructions and just carrying on with my own terrible ideas anyway. Well, let's get this to wood, not frames. Never mind then. Uh, all right, let's um somehow get out of here. Ramp lock, just like that. Up and out. Okay. Hopefully you survive the bombs, but I'll see you in the morning either way. Okay, 50 minutes to go. <laughs> this is it. This is it. This is all, what it all comes down to. You're done. Oh, you've got some more going on. That's fine. Let's get what we need and get ready. I'm going to need some more repair kits, I think. So I'll quickly just whip up some of those. Repair kits. Cheers, <laughs> cheers mate. I going to say cheers, knackers, but I just got confused and scared because that thunder is distracting me. I've got fluids. I've got no food on me, just in case. I'll grab some of you. Going to need some medical supplies. In fact, you can go into there with the rest of that stuff. Medical supplies. I need first aid kits. I need some more first aid kits. I need steroids because I break my leg again. I need a cast in case I break my leg again. You will do. You 
two will do. Anything that's going to be anything tonight needs to be in my inventory. Plus some health bars too, just in case. Um, anything I'm missing? Anything I'm missing? Recog might come in handy, actually. And in fact, so might you. I'll take you, which means I might need some better fluids. Take you with me as well. All right. Uh, let's repair that. No. Ooh, that's going to take 30 more seconds. So I'll just use you while I've got you. All right. This is it. There it is. All right. Let's go. Let's get ready. I'm here. I'm ready to go. Got my lever action in hand. Oh, please let this go well. I guess if I need to throw some grenades down there. No, I've boarded up all the entries. That was silly of me. Oh, no time for that. Here they come. Walking right down the guts of it. Josh, please pay attention and actually shoot your shots where you're going to get a kill. Doesn't matter if it's, all, if it's the one in the lead or the one behind. Actually, can I go like this? Give me you. Like the, oh, that's a doggo. Ow, doggo, please calm your bloody farm. I'll go like this and just whip you down there right in the guts of yours. Will that work? Seems to work out pretty well for me. That's not loaded. Ow, neither of my face. Hold on, hold on. Everyone, just wait a second, please. Doggo, piss off too. Oh boy, I've already gone to melee three seconds in, but at least the barbed wire's doing its job back there and slowing him down as best it can. Nice. Nope, missed it. Maybe stand back a little bit, Josh, given that you don't actually need to be right up in their chins. Take that, and in fact, go a bit longer with the secondary. Ooh, fireworks. Pretty. Just gonna get that AK loaded and get the next uh, bomb on the way. Chuck it right at the feet of the crawlers. That'll do. Nice. Even if I just got... <laughs> A dog went to the bloody moon. Stick your dogs. Ow! Oh, it's not dog proof. Oh, it's not dog proof. I'm, ah, I probably should have tested that before we got to this point. That's also a concussion, but... Oh, no, it was just a stun. That's fine. Managed to get away without too much traumatic brain injury. Do I go with the pistol or do I go with the rifles? I'm not sure. I have the AK loaded now at the least. That bar barbed wire, actually, great decision by me. Wasn't sure about it. Definitely a good call. I think there might be a couple of Muppets downstairs. There is. I'll throw one there and one on the other side as well. Yeah, got that one. Didn't kill one on this side. Though. Oh, how you doing, buddy boy? Came down to the feral raid and not sitting ya. Wait on. Hang on, pup. There you go. Nice. I didn't. I thought I saw a cop. It was just nur uh, Nurse Nancy. The cop does show up, though. I am going to be in a little bit of drama. Don't aim down the side shots. It's not worth your time. There's a couple of them down in the bucket. I'll deal with them in a moment. AK, you're loaded. Yes, you are. AKs are always a good time. Easy to get headshots as well. Can you get the shit off my lawn, please? Nah. Just nah. Don't know how you decided to get through. One out of many, but... Oh, God. Okay, you know what? Raise the hatches. There we go. Something's better than nothing. Need that secondary defense. It's pretty quiet out there. So I think there might actually be a couple of them down here. Can I get my bombers, please? Throw one on that side and one on that side. Out you go. That should explode both of them and do a pretty good effort on it. Calm down. Calm down. Only killed one downstairs, it looks like. Oh, that's all of the bloody uh, barb on that side gone. Let's try this again. Drop you. Drop you down that side. Let's go a couple of bombs, actually, just for good measure. Over there soon. Hope that's another couple of. I get it? No, didn't kill any with that. Nance, Nance, stop. Stop, Nance. I may not be able to kill you with a headshot, but I can drop you with a body shot. Hmm. I mean, it's going okay. Not as smoothly as other Horde Knights, but at least we're still alive. Somewhat. I need to kill these idiots down here. Oh, good day, buddy boy. Sorry. Still didn't kill anyone with all those bombs directly onto their heads. You can go down and join them soon. I mean, at some point, they'll stop spawning zombies and all the zombies that have spawned will be down my little bucket down there. Stand up, cop that. Wait up. Nice. How do I kill you guys, though, if you're not going to accept explosives? I'm going to have to figure out something better for all of that. I guess down that side. 4,000 experience out of that. Finally cleared the bucket out, I think. Okay, all right, let's take a moment to kind of just get our measure on back to full health, which is good. Could probably use some damage mitigation though, given I'm getting punched in the face a lot. Pistol back. That wasn't a pistol, that was a rifle. I suppose whatever works, works, I guess. Oh, this is intense. I need to have a better way of killing the scoundrels down below, because at the moment they are just doing a fair bit of damage. There goes one. All through there, I thought I heard a doggo. I... Dear it, doggo. I shot him in the back of the ear to get his attention. And eventually, he turned around. Goopy. Not quite goopy enough to go off the edge. That's fine. I'm worried about what the state of that pit down below is. 
It may not have been a great idea to dig it. I'm, the bombs aren't working out how I thought. I need to have like a proper shoot or something. I'm going to have something like that. Die. Die. You die too. Oh, didn't take the hints. The pistol's got surprisingly good range, but I'm missing all my shots. Damn it. Okay, let's try again. Try again. Let's go over that side. Like, damn it, not like that. Come on. That's a big old line of zombies. I've been throwing grenades downstairs, but it might mean that I've killed whoever was down there. AK. Okay. Oh, Arlene. Hold on a second. I know your gob's just like hanging through the wall right there, but I'll get with you in a moment. I could be using the lever action for that, but listen, I know I'm expecting the rifles, but rifles are just so bloody terrible for Horde Knights. It's not even bloody funny. Because look, I'm still doing enough damage to kill him with the AK, which is the aim of the game, I suppose. Put you down. I'm kind of tempted to actually, maybe, hang on, hang on. Modify you, give me that one, that one. I don't think I need the scope on you. I'm going to try it anyway. Modify, in all you go, just to do some extra damagey goodness. I know you're right on my doorstep. You're climbing all over each other, which is the entire reason I built the zombie barricade up the bloody top to stop exactly that. How are you not dead, you bitch? Make sure you're dead. Make sure you're dead. Double tap. You learned that from zombie land. Hang on. No, nope. shit. Why are my guns not loaded? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. This is way too intense. I can hear them downstairs. Lob that over there and see if we can get another one down there, actually. Yep, that was a couple up. That's my rifle. Wrong gun. Wait on, wait on, wait on. I said, wait on, you rude, inconsiderate fuck. Get the shit off me doorstep and leave me the fuck alone. Oh God, oh God. Josh, don't panic. It's fine, just place your shots. Just because it's Hornet doesn't mean you have to absolutely throw everything out the window. Close that if you can. All mate's definitely dead. Okay, let's try this again. Get your bombs. That sounds like they're breaking more than just concrete, actually, which is a bit worrisome. Drop that right off the edge. Grab you back. Oh, that's some cop vomit. Hold on. Hold on. Can't hit a cop to save my bloody life. There we go. Finally, I'm worried about downstairs. It's 1 a.m. I'm worried about everything collapsing. I'm using the AK. Oh, shit. As I probably should have used the, uh, the rifle. Just trying to get guys clean headshots like that. Okay, I need to I need to pop up those. I can't not have the hatches down. Those cool looking plate things were great in theory, but in practice, considerably less so. Go away. Alright, there you go down. Bucket again. Nope. <laughs> it just jiggle all over the place. Maybe a double wide platform wasn't the way to go. Maybe this singular would have been better off. Go on, keep on going. It's half past one. My ammo stores are getting pretty low, so try and just get nice, easy, clean, single shot kills all the way along. God, I missed my bloody barbed wire, though. Would have been such a good thing to have. I wasn't really sure about it, but here you go. In fact, let's go. Can I go like this? Can I, like, put those down? Now, now I can't see anything, but hopefully Sammy being in the way will give me a little bit more breathing room to deal with the mups. Like that. Give me just a little bit more space and stop them coming directly through my window. Like that. There we go. In fact, while I'm at it, in fact, before I put ammo into you, modify, put the scope back on you. So I do see a cop down the end. Go, Sammy. Do your best work. Speaking of, do see a cop down the end. Excuse me. I can try and take care of him from range before he gets too close to me. That's just like a pretty good combo, actually. God oh, damn it. You still need the machine gun, but at least you have some options. There's a lot of noises down below. So I'm going to throw that down there. I'm actually going to light all the fuses and drop that down as well. 2600 or 2700 experience out of that. We'll do the same on this side. Just like that. 4,000. Good. Better. The must be I'm getting some actual kills down there and protecting the base of my structure. I need to dig it deeper. I need to dig it better. I need to do it before. It's funny. 8 p.m. on Horde Night. <laughs> so dumb. Definitely should not have done that. That was not my wisest move. And I've made some real BAFTAs over the years. Easy. Nice clean headshots all across the board. Haven't really used the bloody spear at all, but it's just not really what this is for. Spears are great for most days, not for Horde Knight. Dropping some bombs down as you do. 7,000 experience. It's always like a satisfaction in knowing that that was the right decision at the time. I'm just trying to like, the only way I can tell is by how much beating noises I can hear down there. There goes a vulture. That's fine. Aim at about head height, what I wouldn't do for a couple of AP rounds, but it wasn't to be. 
Nice clean headshots. Nice clean headshots, Josh. It's the aim of the game. It's the zombie apocalypse. Spraying and praying won't do dick. I've taken some more fort bites to try my best to try to mitigate the damage I'm going to be getting. But interestingly, I don't feel the need to use the recall. We discovered how valuable recon was in uh, Mega City using the SMGs. That was for like real tanky zombies. When I've got the squishy bits in their noggins, like doesn't really matter so much, I don't think. So oh, I'm saving the, the recon for later hordes where maybe I'll get an M60 or something. I think this kind of puts the bed though. Oh fuck, that's shit shooting, Josh. The, like rifles for whores have any place at all. It's gotta be machine guns or something with rapid fire. Single fire anything with mass amounts of zombies just doesn't work out. They're doing a lot of damage down there. Throw a couple of bombs down. Woohoo! 15,000 experience. Hopefully that's everybody dead. Except you. Hang on. Hold your horses, I'll be right with ya. Maximum zombies means maximum hordes, which means there's no reprieve until 4 a.m. God, I just cannot place my shooting at all, can I? There we go, nice and easy. All ahead on, all the way along the board. This is scary, this is scary, and I don't bloody like it. I wish I had a better barricade here. I can almost reach that loot bag. I almost got greedy for it, but no, that would be bloody silly. Here comes you. Nice, nice, I'm going for it, I'm going for it, I'm going for it. What have you got? Oh, Urban Combat Volume 4. That's fine. I mean, that's the, the crouch jump height is not reduced, which is bloody good, but I mean, it was risky to start reading books in the middle of a bloody horde night. Not clever. What is clever, though, is Sammy saving me guts more often than not. Hold up. Where's your noggin? Stop. 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 Oh, God. Had to cycle through three different guns to get one that actually had the ammo in the fucking chamber. Not clever by me. So there's lots of muppets downstairs as well. Put it like that. Drop you off the edge. Drop you off that side as well. There we go. 10,000 experience. Send you down to the depths down to David fucking Jones's locker. Catch you later, Jigglypuff. Repair you. What's my ammo situation like? Not fantastic. It's getting a little bit dire, but we'll keep on pushing as best we can. 15 more minutes, though. We might actually fucking make it through this. Holy shit. Oh, there's the morning chime. The sun has risen in the distance, which means all of you guys are now significantly less scary than you were. Sammy, I'm going to leave you there. There's a fucking loot bag in here that I didn't even notice. Give me you. Not what I needed, but I'll take you anyway. All right. Before we do anything, I need to invest. Holy shit. Holy shit. Guys, get the fuck off my supports, please. That's really bad news. You can piss off as well. Uh, right. That is now a real big problem because that means... Holy shit. That means they've been undermining my base this entire time, which is not good biscuits. Are we good? Are we sorted? Are you empty? Can you please fuck off? I need to kill the rest of these idiots and get all the loot that's out here. I can't believe... Oh my god. I mean, it's supported way back over here, but even so, that's still really not good. I'm just going to chuck everything into you to deal with you in the morning. All of that stuff can go in there as well. Got my loot and specs on, and all of my guns are loaded with ammo in case I need them. Okay, well, let's go and get the loot that's actually on... Can I grab this on the way down? Huh? Almost. Very nearly almost. That's fine. <sighs> Let's just see what we get. I don't think it's going to be worthwhile. I used a shit load of 7.62 overnight. I doubt I'm getting that back again. There's 32 rounds of it, though. Thank you very much. And the others? Any others this side? No. Okay. Ooh, cheeky blue bag down the end here, though. Most of it's in the zombie bucket, but I'll get there in a moment. I can't believe I'm still alive. I cannot believe I'm still alive. Dubsy schematic. I'll read you because I haven't read you before. I was tempted to sell you because I'm not really planning on making shotguns anytime soon, but always keen to unlock all the knowledge I can. A steel shovel. A T6 iron helmet, which is better than what I'm currently wearing. I'm wearing a scrap one at the moment, I think. If they got I was, I got punched in the face a lot. Steel helmet. Interesting. Right, so I burned through. Oh, shit. Um... Fuck, can I actually get out of here? No, because I left my frames inside. That was not clever of you, Josh. And I don't have any gubs. Right. How the how the fuck do I get out of here? Um uh, okay, I guess I'm gonna have to like build my like dig my way out of here. Huh. That was a little bit unexpected. Give me the wood that I need, please, to make myself a frame. Need one more. That'll do. <laughs> Josh, you muppet. How can you be so bad at this game after so long playing it? 
Oh, you turnip. Anyway, that's all the loot that I've gotten. I can scrap that stuff for the brass and start getting my life in order again. Oh, man. So, day 21 is done. We came out of it. That was not a clean horde base. There's potential there. Rifles are terrible. Spears didn't... Be I barely even got used, to be honest. And my little barricade at the top? Horrendous idea. I need to find something better. But I'm going to have to come back find that something better, and build that something better in the next episode, because this episode and this week is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked it, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.